I was getting ready to put a new Equipost cradle in my stand, but decided instead to replace the rubber pad insert. This is how I went about doing it. First, go ahead and clean the dirt out inside the hex screw. I just used a small drill bit, it worked really well. Once it's cleaned out, use a 3 16 hex Allen key and take out the bolt. I prefer using a half inch drive with an Allen socket attached to it and using my impact gun. Once you've pulled out the screws and removed the insert, go ahead and push the screws out of the old insert and then trace your insert to a small piece of three quarter inch store mat and go ahead and mark the center of each hole. Use a three quarter inch spade bit to drill down about half the thickness of the pad and then use a small drill bit to finish drilling the hole so you can insert your bolts into it. Here's one that I've already finished. Make sure that the bolts are all the way through the rubber mat so that you can hear them click into place when you press the pad into the cradle. Using the corner of a bench can allow you to press the pad into the cradle, allowing you to align both the bolts and the holes. Once you've done that, using the impact driver, it is very simple to screw them in. So this was a nice way of making your own rubber insert for your Equipost cradle. However, EDSS carries the rubber inserts already made up. So all you have to do is install the bolts, remove your old insert, push in your new one, line the screw holes. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get a click in. So I use my Allen key to then align the bolt with the hole and then go ahead and screw it in. So here was two simple ways of replacing the rubber pad insert for the Equipost hoof cradle. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.